Bills running back Naheem Hines got hurt on a jet ski. He's got a knee injury. Um, it's an ACL injury, reportedly. Naheem Hines is out for the year. He's kind of the scat back running back in Buffalo. He's their number one return guy. He's a guy who catches the ball really well out of the backfield. It's a it's a blow to Buffalo, a team that I think got – how do I say this? I don't think Buffalo got better this offseason. And the division around them got way better. The Jets are better. Miami's going to be healthier and better. They got a better defensive coordinator. The Patriots got a finally a real offensive coordinator is going to help them. I think every team around the Bills and their division got better. I don't think the Bills did get better. And now they lost their receiving running back return guy, Naheem Hines. It's not looking great if you're a Bills fan. I am not confident in the Bills' ability to go chase the Super Bowl this year. Uh, but we'll see. Time will tell. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I just... I am I'm worried about the Bills' season this year. Their expectations are super high, and the team is looking very, eh. All right, I mean, they're still great. I don't want to downplay Buffalo. Like, they're going to dominate a lot of people. They're going to win a lot of games. They're going to be tough to beat. But certainly, the division got better, and certainly, I don't know. Bills fans, write in. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think made your team way better this offseason? I don't see any monumental changes that make me go, oh, yeah, the Bills, Super Bowl favorite. Absolutely. They weren't last year, and why are they now this year? By the way, on the Naheem, the Naheem Hines thing, the New York Post is calling it a freak jet ski accident. I actually take a bit of umbrage with the term freak accident here. If you're an NFL player, I, stay off a jet ski. Stay off of an ATV. I When I was playing college football, my dad was like, hey, do not ride an ATV. If that thing flips over and you lose your leg, you're you're done. Just wait till you're done with football. And if you need your body for your job, as I used to do HVAC, right? When I was working in HVAC, I'm like, hey, I, I probably got to take care of my hands. I, I, I need my hands for my job and I need my feet to walk around. I don't mean to be insensitive, but when I did HVAC, there was stuff I didn't do because I knew, hey, I can't afford to miss a paycheck. And if I get hurt doing something dumb and I can't work, it's going to really, really impact me negatively. So I don't mean to be insensitive, but I, I am surprised. Like, what is an NFL player doing on a jet ski this close before the season? I, Man, I, it just, it's a bad idea to me. And I, I think um, I, I, I don't mean to criticize it, but you have to have self-awareness and realize your body is the most important thing if you're a football player or any kind of athlete. You got to take care of it. You got to with your training, with the food you eat, but also with the activities you do. You got to be really careful and cautious, man. I don't mean live in a bubble, but there are things you got to say no to when you're when you're an athlete. And uh, Naheem Hines' freak jet ski accident, but I don't know that it's just a jet ski accident, which probably should never have happened. So I don't want to hate on the guy. It's really sad he's out for the year. I like him a lot as a player, um, but it's it's a message to other NFL players and other athletes around um, uh, the world and around America. Hey, uh, guys, be careful. Be be really, really smart. When you, if you need your body for your job, yeah, you, you can't do dumb stuff with your body. Again, I, when I would cut with a knife, um, like cooking and stuff, I'm like, hey, I be, better be careful because if I cut my hand too bad, um, I I can't do my job. So like, you just have to be aware of what your body requires from you and, and take care of your body and be smart with yourself. And I don't know that I've never been on a jet ski. I think they look really fun. Um, but there also are lots of ways for things to go wrong when you're boating. And, uh, I just would encourage other athletes to look at Naheem Hines and go, let's, uh, let's be smart with ourselves that, you know, heading into the season and don't do dumb stuff on your days off and, uh, take care of yourself and, and be very, very cautious because if you get hurt, you're going to miss out on a lot of money and a lot of opportunities and maybe even miss your season, which looks like Naheem Hines is going to do. I want to share a follow-up on Bills running back Naheem Hines' uh, injury. He got hurt riding a jet ski. Uh, there's more details. He wasn't riding the jet ski. He was sitting on it stationary. And then another person hit him. So, like, it sucks. And to me, it doesn't change anything. Uh, I, I did a whole thing yesterday about how when you use your body for work, you got to make different decisions and avoid things that put you at risk of getting hurt. A lot of people were, were very upset, like, ah, it's it's a jet ski. Jet skis aren't dangerous. O okay, but I, I I just, 
as someone who I used to use my hands for work in HVAC and I was very careful with my hands because I knew if I hurt my hands, I can't work and I don't get a paycheck. So I, I made different decisions. I didn't, wasn't able to operate like a normal person. I'm like, hey, I, I need my body for work. I maintain, if you're an NFL player in July when football starts in a couple weeks, hey, maybe don't get on the jet ski. Like, I know, hey, no, that sucks, but you got a lot of years when you retire to get on jet skis and have fun with all your money. Uh, don't risk missing out on your season getting on a jet ski. And I, I feel sad for him that it happened, but hearing the way it happened, that it wasn't him doing something crazy, but someone actually hit him, it actually further confirms to me, hey, jet skis, probably not the best thing to be riding if you're an NFL player who uses your body for work. And that hurts a Buffalo team. Hey, his season's over. That's sad. It also hurts a Buffalo team that lost their defensive coordinator. Uh, they added a tight end, um, you know, Dalton Kincaid, who's going to be awesome, but I don't know how Buffalo got way better this offseason, and their division around them, the AFC East, got way better around them. So the Bills aren't categorically a way better football team. The teams around them got better, and now they lost a key return man and a, a receiver out of the backfield, Naheem Hines. To me, uh, this is a big blow to Buffalo, and it's a, it's a little, it's a small thing that could, over the course of a whole season, impact them a lot. And when you're in the AFC East, which I would consider the best division in football, and every little edge you can get on an opponent matters, like, I think, hey, the Jets are better, the Dolphins are better, the Patriots are better, the, the tide rose around the Bills, and now this is a, a one small thing on top of a couple other small things that happened in this offseason that's going to hurt Buffalo. And I don't know, man, the, the cracks are starting to show in this Buffalo football team. We'll see what happens. Um, I think... This is the kind of stuff people sound about. If they win the Super Bowl, people are going to go back in time and say, remember when Zach was having all these doubts in July? I can live with that because I have my doubts about the Buffalo Bills. And there's a couple little things that have happened in Buffalo. Losing Leslie Frazier really mattered. Losing Naheem Hines, that's not a small thing. And small, even if it is a small thing, small little things that hurt your football team, they add up. And I am I'm concerned about Buffalo. I don't know that they're... You know, I think at the top of the AFC, you've got Cincinnati and Kansas City, and I'm not sure that Buffalo's in the same tier as them. I think Buffalo is just one tier below them. Um, and I think right now, when it comes to the best teams in the AFC, Buffalo's trying to be one of them, but I think they're actually much closer to everyone else in their division than they were last year. And I, I find myself highly skeptical of Buffalo today. And I'm, I know Buffalo fans get mad about that. And look, Dalton Kincaid, this awesome tight end is going to be really fun to watch, I think, at Buffalo. But you lose Leslie Frazier, your defensive coordinator, who's amazing. You, you, a couple little things have happened that I'm like, uh, it's not great. It's not great in Buffalo. And I know they're, they've got Super Bowl hopes and all these plans. And I worry that the expectations are sky high in Buffalo and you're, the team's not going to be able to live up to them. And that makes me uh, feel sad for Bills fans.